What is up, YouTube? It is the first day of yard sale season 2022. We are on our way to our first yard sale of the season. I will let you know what I find when I get there. See you in a minute. <laughs> So first yard sale of the season is in the bag and unfortunately still a little chilly to have uh, a, uh, a yard sale outside. So they had it inside. Nothing for me, unfortunately. I always like to get something at the first yard sale I go to, but there was just nothing there except a lot of friends who are yard sale people and they kind of picked through everything before I got there. So let's head on to the second one, see if I can have better luck there. You know, while I'm driving to this next yard sale, I want to take a minute to uh, give you a little bit of a pro tip. Uh, when you do this as much as I do, and I apologize for the camera shaking, but when you do this as much as I do, it's a good idea to make friends uh, with the local resellers, uh, people who do this, like there were at least three uh, at that yard sale that I know I see all the time. Um, and we were talking and just kind of carrying on. But what's important to think outside the box and realize is that if all three of them are still at that yard sale, then none of them are at the yard sale I'm heading to. So if you see that many people that you see every single week, uh, at a yard sale, you can pretty much assume that in half a mile, you're not going to find turn anything left. at that particular yard sale. So it's best to minimize your losses and head off to the next one. Now, I did see a couple of books uh, there that I did scan. Um, nothing really significant. There were a couple of Lego sets uh, that maybe could have been, again, I, it would have been nice because I have this philosophy that if you draw blood, as I call it, at the first yard sale you go to, you're going to have a good day. Uh, that's been my experience in the past. So I always try to buy something. Turn the left on White Hill Road. Um, but I just, I couldn't do it today. I mean, maybe if I had bought that book, I might have made a dollar. But, you know, I, you need to have standards and you need to have limits on uh, what your what your business model is. Uh, what items you like. I do electronics and books and video games and even some vintage toys, but you know, that was In three quarters of a mile, uh, turn right on Old Stage Road. And dolls and, you know, kids books, Dr. Seuss and things like that. Not a lot of meat on the bone for those, so I would rather just, you know, acknowledge the fact that, okay, this one is busy, um, but I'm gonna move on to the next one, so. What do you got on this? What is that, the new one? Yeah, the PS5 game. Okay, second yard sale was better than the first. Uh, I showed you a few shots of what they had available. Um, I did pick up uh, a sealed copy of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. 
Uh, they were asking 15. Uh, I asked them if they take 10, and they said yes. Uh, unfortunately, because it's a Sony product, Sony has started restricting what I can do on Amazon, so I can't sell it on Amazon. But it looks like it's selling on eBay for about 30 bucks. Uh, and my rule of thumb when I'm doing quick math out in the field is whatever my sale price is, uh, the best I can do is a third of that uh, by the time you get done with fees and shipping and things like that. Because I always want to do a double up. My business model is whatever I spend, I want to make twice as much. So if I spend 10, I want to make 10 back after the 10 that I spent. So I want to make 20. So I figured that if it sells for 30, uh, I want to pay no more than 10. So I asked her if she'd take 10 bucks, and she said yes. So picked that up. Uh, at least drew some blood at the second yard sale, if not the first. Uh, the next one uh, doesn't open up for another hour, so I'm going to hit up the flea market uh, that we're, that was right here in town uh, on the way to the next one. So I'll show you some shots for that when we get there. Okay, so when you're going to a flea market, uh, you basically can break down your vendors into two categories. Those that are here every single week uh, and those that come instead of setting up a yard sale in their house. Um, the people who are here every week, when you come for several weeks, you'll kind of identify them and uh, typically, as a rule of thumb, they don't have a lot uh, that I can do because most of it is stuff that's not in my business model or some of it is just too sun damaged or too weathered. They just don't care uh, and they hold out for higher prices. But you look for the ones that are not here every week. So let's go take a look and see what we can find. So this is an example of a guy who is here every week. You can tell just by how things are set up. How you doing, bud? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Call for that. Got a Mario back there too, mushroom head. Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I just picked up a nice game for myself this morning. What'd you get? Oh, nice. Where'd you find that? Here? Uh, no, a buddy of mine brought it for me. Gotcha. All in the package, yo. That's a, you know what that game goes for? Yes, I do. I have it. That's a, <laughs> and last, uh, what was it? Two weeks ago, I got the uh, Grand Theft Auto from the PlayStation 1, the Collector's Edition 1 2 in London. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, but that's going to my personal collection. Yeah, I absolutely. I don't blame you. Yeah. I don't blame you a bit. Yeah, there's nothing there that I don't already have or need, so. Hey, no problem. If you buy, you buy, you don't, you don't. There you go. Don't matter to me, no. I might be interested in that. This one. The Space Ace. I just, I love the old Space, or the yeah. old uh, Don Bluth games. Three bucks. Yeah, I'll pass on that. I got it on another format. People move things on you. Everybody came out of the bag when I was packing up or something. That's a bank kit. Yeah, it's yeah, a bank. Yeah. I do, I do got some Mario stuff, maybe one of these toys. I'm going to have to finish going through everything. Okay. See the Flintstone one up there, too? Where? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. They're a little bit to look at. <laughs> going up to Jersey next weekend to go set up. How are you? Yeah. That's a hard to find piece. <laughs> so I don't know how much of that you heard, but you can see that that was a guy that was set up out here. Hasn't necessarily been here every week, but engaging him in conversation showed that he was 
basically out here to make money and I'm, that's not the kind of people I can work with. I mean, I respect that, but <clears throat> I need people who are trying to get rid of stuff and he's clearly not trying to get rid of stuff, so we'll keep looking. Okay, future Steve here. As I'm sitting here editing this video, I realize uh, how much of a jerk I sound like when I say he's here to make money. Let me make sure I under you understand what I mean by that. The people out there that are resellers, they're trying to get top dollar for their stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what, you know, that's what the reseller's job is trying to do. But when you have someone like that, I don't want to be disrespectful to that person and offer them a low ball amount of money. Uh, you know, if they wanted $8 for something, I don't want to offer them two because they're trying to do what I'm trying to do. They're trying to take something they got for a cheap price and sell it for a profit. There's nothing wrong with that. But when I go to, and this is why I don't really go to the flea market that much, but when I go to the flea market, I'm looking for people who are trying to set up shop as a yard sale or people who just, you know, they're there for one day and then they're done. Um, when you find someone who uses keywords like he did, like he's going to set up in New Jersey next week, you know that this is a business for them. And I try to be very gentle with people who I know it's a business. I don't want to insult them. So that's what I meant by that. I, I realize as I'm editing, it sounded like I was coming across as an ass, but I'm not really trying to be one. So anyway, back to the video. The lighting is pretty bad, but uh, unfortunately I didn't get this on video because I didn't, <clears throat> didn't see it in time. So I didn't have a chance to run the camera and the guy started talking, but I picked up uh, the Spawn, uh, did, uh, I guess they're uh, graphic novels. Uh, there's six of them. It's a complete set of six. Uh, he wanted a dollar a piece, so that was six bucks, and each one sells for about ten bucks. So turn six into six into yeah, six into sixty. That's not bad. Uh, they'll ship out media mail, so the shipping will be super cheap. So I'll list them at ten bucks uh, free shipping. So they should get me about six bucks a piece uh, on each one of them when I sell them. So six bucks profit on a one dollar spend. I'll take that. I'm also on my way to pick up a uh, set of Philips Hue uh, recessed LED lighting, or uh, actually color changing LED lighting. It looks like it's a Hue recessed lighting. Uh, the guy had a, he had a ridiculous price on him. He wanted uh, 20 bucks a pop. Uh, and that's pretty much what they sell for on eBay, but he took the entire box of 12. Uh, he let me have it for 80. Uh, so I paid about $6, $7 per. So. If I sell it for 24 and I paid seven, uh, that's an easy $7 double up. So remember my rule is whatever you can sell it for, buy it for a third of that price. So if I sell for 24, I could have gone eight, um, but he did 667 or $7. So that's a good deal too. So I'm gonna go pick those up and we're gonna head out to the next yard sale. There you go. That's what I picked up. Uh, Full color Wi-Fi LED Philips recess can lighting, $6 a piece, not bad. So let's take another minute to talk about um, competition. Uh, competition is healthy. Uh, competition is not a bad thing. Uh, there were several resellers shopping around the flea market. Again, if they're at the flea market, they're not at the next yard sale I'm going to, so that's a good thing. Keep them in my rear view mirror. But you pick up on some good information um, and you make some good relationships. One of the guys that was at the uh, at the flea market was selling uh, old Atari systems and he said it hold, had an entire um, closet full of them, eight or nine of them, um, and he just couldn't move them. So we're gonna see if we can work out a deal uh, where I can buy those from him. I like to take old Ataris and retrofit them with uh, uh, composite uh, mods so that they can play on modern televisions. Um, so yeah, so we're going to see if that works out. I also picked up some knowledge uh, from a guy who was talking about uh, old WWE wrestling figures. Um, and uh, he was he was just a customer and he was talking to one of the people there about uh, some figures he had for sale. He's like, if you have Hillbilly Jim with the, uh, with the hat, the hat's worth a lot. So you, you pick up on things. So always be looking, always be listening. Uh, don't be afraid to negotiate. The guy originally wanted uh, $100, uh, 
uh, for that box. And here's another pro tip, uh, the, pro the box of lights. Um, if, if you're interested in something, uh, he saw me look it up on my phone. Um, so he knows that I'm a reseller because he asked me, what do they sell for? And I was honest with him. I said, they, sell, they don't sell very often, but they sell between $20 and $25. So that, once he saw what I was doing and knew what I was up to, he cut me a little bit of a deal and he basically said he wanted them gone. So we negotiated and, and I, basically by negotiating, I mean, I just stood there. Uh, I didn't say anything and he kept coming down on price. So he started at uh, $100. Uh, and then he went down to $90 and still not saying anything. He finally came down to 80 and, uh, you know, 80 is in my wheelhouse because I was doing the math, 80 times 12 and, and then figuring out what my buy cost needed to be to be where I needed to be profit wise. And so we settled on 80. So, you know, even if you know you're not going to get anything, even if you know that it's going to be nothing but uh, people who are out there every single week selling the same stuff every single week. Uh, it's a good idea to make friends, make connections. Uh, you never know how it's going to pan out. So hopefully those lights will turn out well. Uh, they'll probably have to go into storage. I don't expect them to sell fast. Uh, so we'll take a look. And plus these Spawn comics, they sell, again, they don't sell fast either, but they do sell, but $10 a piece. Uh, all in all, that wasn't a bad stop. So we'll take a look at this next yard sale. I've got two more left for the day. It's a very late day. Uh, but so far, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Yeah. It looks weird because I custom built it. That's why it looks like. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Took a long time. But... Yeah, I bet. Is that with the original? Yeah. So yeah. It all sells together, everything there. Yeah. It comes with the tools to put it back together and everything in case you ever need to take it back to GameStop or something, whatever you want to do. Very cool. Good job. Not every yard sale is a winner. So that was number three. Nothing there. You saw what I saw and not a lot to pick from. Uh, so off to four. All right, this is the last stop of the day. Now, the last tip I'll give you for the day is know your audience or know where you're going. So this particular stop is in a retirement community and it's a moving sale. So the odds of me finding electronics, video games, things like that here are pretty slim, but I'm still gonna check it out, uh, looking for anything I can flip, but I will take you on the journey with me. What little bit I see, I don't see a whole lot, so I don't expect a lot, but let's go see what we can find. They're sold. Okay. Sorry. I just wanted to rest for my... <laughs> Okay, that trip lasted all of 10 seconds. Um, as you saw, there was nothing there that I was interested in. Uh, the one thing I even said I might be interested in was immediately sold, so it's like, what's the point? Anyway, 
Um, that's it for the day. We didn't have a bad day. We didn't have a great day, but for the first day, I'll take it. So yeah, that's it for week one of Yard Sale Season 2020. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride. Uh, if you did, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try and do this as many weeks as I can remember to do it. Uh, hopefully this is the first week of many to come. And uh, stay tuned. I'll keep you updated on what I find, where I find, and try and give you any advice I can along the way to help you have some success finding things too. Take care. God bless.